In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create footprints in infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first foot with the step and the detailed text. When I click, it will show me the step two, step three, step four, and step five. I have created one more slide with a uh, different color uh, foots here. So you can see here, if you want, you can just give some different colors to, the, to each foot. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any grey color background then go to insert click on the icons. In the icons I am going to type the word the foot. So let me just search it here. And then it displays me this particular foot image. So I'm going to choose this one and click on insert. And here I'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key. Just drag this. All right. And then the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this foot images. Okay. So for that, uh, under the graphic format, convert to shape. Okay. So now these are the two separate foots now so now i'm going to select only the left foot first and press ctrl g to group it and then select the right one and press ctrl g to group it now select both of these and go to the shape format graphic fill or shape fill i'm going to make this as a white color and then go to the shape effects under the shadow i'm going to choose this one which is preset bottom all right and then I'm going to select both of these and you can see the small circular arrow uh, rotate a little bit here okay something like this then I'm going to put one foot here okay and then the second one will come here as if we are putting uh, the steps so now select both of these press ctrl D to duplicate and then move it here one more time and then one more last I'm just going to put it here all right so again if you want to arrange it properly you can just arrange it so once this is done the next thing which you will, I, would, I would like to do is to add the text here okay for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this line and draw a small line holding the shift key so that we get a straight line shape outline i'm going to make this as white and i would like to increase the width of this one for that right mouse click go to the format shape and under the line you can see the width i'm going to increase the width here all right and then i'm going to make the end arrow type as the oval shape here okay so it looks something like this now for this go to insert text box you can add the step number okay and title so i'm just going to add the title make the font color as white make it bold and put it here in the title and below i'm going to insert some detailed text add detail text here again white font reduce the font size maybe i'm going to make it a right align and i'm going to put it here okay so it looks something like this or maybe left align will be good i believe yeah okay so now I'm going to select these three, the line and the two text, press Ctrl G to group it, Ctrl D to duplicate and move it aside here, again Ctrl D and move it here, Ctrl D will come here, Ctrl D it will be here as well. So only thing is for this I'm going to choose, go to the shape format and rotate, I'm going to make it flip horizontal, here also I'm just going to make it as flip horizontal okay so once this is done if you want you can just give some different colors to it also for example if you want to give some uh, yellow green blue it up up to you okay so you can give some different color so i'm not going to give any color i'm keeping it white only so once this is done go to the animations enable the animation paint so now the first one i'm going to make animation as appear and then this one add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok stretch effect it should be from right and that should happen after previous so if i play 
it comes like this so now i'm going to select this one animation painter click it here then copy the animation painter to the text and here effect option should be left okay so if i play for example this will come like this and then like this okay so now it's very easy i'm just going to copy the animation to the rest of the foods you can see here and then this one i'm going to choose this and then the last one so now let me just play so the first foot the second third fourth and fifth if you want to change some animation effects to your own matching or your own requirements also you can do that